Hey guys, back to last and it's all. So today is an awesome day because the best event in the game, at least in my opinion, is finally back. It appears like probably once a month, maybe twice a month. And that is Bunker Bravo event. So if you've never cleared Bunker Bravo, make sure to clear it during this event. And to be honest, probably stop clearing Bunker Bravo altogether. Just clear it during this event because that's how awesome this event is. So here you can save probably 50% of your weapons. So it takes about 20 to 24 guns to clear Bunker Bravo fully. So you can save 10 to 12 weapons per run like imagine how amazing this event is and here you can see what kind of buffs we can get here ak does 25 percent more damage sometimes it's the m16 that does 25 percent more damage but the most importantly zombies health here is reduced by 50 percent which is that's how you save 50 percent of those weapons and radioactive contamination decreased by half so that means you don't really have to have here any insane guns because radiation is decreased by half so you can just run through that bunker bravo with your basic unmodded glocks and on top of that we have also probably the second maybe best event maybe third best event in the game because the because there are probably some other great events but yeah this arena event is also great as at the very end you can get two files with rare blueprints and yeah you can get two extremely rare blueprints that means you can get four uh, blue blueprints and like what 12 common blueprints which is pretty nice this event is also amazing but yeah today we're going to be clearing that uh, Bunker Bravo, if we have enough time, maybe we'll even go to the arena. But before we do all of that, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we have some raids to do. And now we have to go and kill three bulls at the farm. So let's hop on our chopper and let's go to that farm. I've gotten things that we need to have here, except I've forgotten to get some food. So let's get perhaps, I don't know, like 11 carrot stews. That should be more than enough. Now let's hop on our chopper and let's get that from here. And there's another thing. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined. I'm glad to see all over here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, welcome to the live stream. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate uh, through those timestamps a little bit quicker. You can go uh, to us doing raids, us clearing Bunker Bravo, opening up crates and so on and so on. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, let me know that in the comments down below. And once again, welcome to those that are watching this live stream live. Glad to see all over here. How's your day going, guys? Is everything all right? I have to check. I'm, I'm, I don't even have to check it. It's Wednesday. I checked it today. It's Wednesday. Say, so hopefully, all of you are having a great Wednesday. I've been doing it. Uh, events only saved my season pass rations and done three Bunker Bravo runs already. Finishing ATV this week. Finally, says Jamie Preston. Very nice. Congrats on your ATV. Yeah, this event is amazing. This event is seriously great. This event is the best event in the game. Usually I used to call it like one of the best events, which it's still one of the best events, but in my opinion, it is the best event. Bunker Bravo is the best event in in the game. And it's back. It appears like once, uh, once a month, twice a month. Maybe some of you know how often it appears, but I think it appears like at least once a month, something like that. So there is that. Let's deal with these run yokels. What event? I've literally spent... Uh, what event? I've literally spent like three minutes just talking about that event. Like non-stop. Guys, just open up your ears. Listen up! I'm talking about Bunker Bravo event. Just literally for three minutes straight, I kept talking about how awesome is Bunker Bravo. Because that's the event that's back. Next Bunker Bravo will be something like in 20 days. Okay, maybe it appears every 20 days. Maybe every three weeks we get a Bunker Bravo event. I don't know. When are you doing that new game video on the Sunken Land? Maybe soon. There will be another Sunken Land video. I've just finished editing the second part. It's still not uploaded on YouTube because I still haven't done the thumbnail and other stuff. But yeah, it's going to be out. It will be out. So yeah, to those that have just joined, today we're going to be clearing Bunker Bravo event because this is the best event in the game. And I want to clear it because why not? It's fun. But before we do that, I want to do a raid. And to do a raid, we need to kill three bulls. So how about we kill those three bulls here? Let's open up a blue box. Because why wouldn't we do that? And yeah, you're wasting your flare guns. No, I'm not wasting them. I'm using them. But I thank you for, your con for being concerned. Farm is pretty good because of the new update. Yeah, I really love the farm location. Like, it is my probably favorite location for free-to-play players right now. Still, Bunker Bravo is the... Bunker Alpha, excuse me. Bunker Alpha is still the best, but I've just cleared Bunker Alpha for... I've been clearing it for six years. So it's like, I'm kind of sick and tired of that Bunker Alpha. 
And I like the farm location a bit more now. It's awesome. Still, Bunker Alpha is better than the farm, but I'm just more interested in the farm location. I think the main reason is because it's all the time kind of different. Like, you'll get different clumps of zombies. Sometimes you'll get raiders, sometimes you'll get something else. And that's what makes this place a little bit more interesting. It's not like it's insanely different every time you clear it, but it is different than Bunker Alpha. As Bunker Alpha is constantly the same. Like, everything is going to be the same. Like, if you train enough, you can probably clear Bunker Bravo with your... Bunker Alpha with your eyes closed. You're not going to be able to clear the farm location with your eyes closed because there are always different zombies. Like, for example, now we have the diseased wolves. It is just a little bit different, and... Yeah, that's why I probably like the farm location more. I think it's more interesting than Bunker Alpha. So I hope going... F uh, going further, developers keep adding more locations like that. That all the time differ. That have different scenarios and other stuff. Which, again, that's what they're doing. Uh, look at the transport hub. We get different bosses. Correct. Correct. Also, Bunker, maybe the transport hub could have even more scenarios. Like, different zombies sometimes. I don't know. In any case, let's open up this sack here. Maybe we'll find the key. Did they decrease the red coupon drop rate at Bunker Alpha? I don't think so. Every time there's like a new update or something, people will say that, but I don't think they decreased anything. I think it's all the time the same. Okay, let's deal with this Revenger real quick. We definitely have way too many melee weapons. Different does not mean good, Cyrix is born sus. I literally don't understand what your comment means. Like, it means it, it has zero sense. I'm just saying constantly different locations are more interesting. Than clearing the same boring Bunker Alpha. And you know what? Maybe it's better. Like, hey, if you, you can, like, master Bunker Alpha, right? But at the same time, I think it's goop. I'd rather those locations be different all the time. Okay, let's deal with this right in Yoko. And over here... Because that's why Bunker Alpha is so boring, because it's all the time the same. If we could only, like, rearrange those zombies once in a while, then... It would be more interesting. But it, it is what it is. Let's deal with this Savage Giant real quick. Oh, no. Oopsies. I made an oopsie. Whoops! Another whoopsie. How about I do this? Oh, made so many whoopsies! Whoa, what's going on today? In any case, I lost my mouse. That's the that's the problem. I couldn't find my cursor. I didn't know where is that special attack. In any case, what is the next sunken land? Says Raul. The sooner the better. In the next few days, expect another sunken land video. Either tomorrow or after tomorrow, probably. That's when there will be another sunken land video. Whoa. Okay, let's deal with this stupid savage giant. And that is it. We are done. Psych, is the 4060 good? Again, if you guys want to buy any graphics cards, just go on YouTube and type whatever graphics card you're buying and check the games that, that you want to play. And you'll see if it's good or bad. Do you have enough parts for the second ATV? Sadly, we, we cannot craft a second ATV. We can only have one. Oh, I didn't deal with any... With any bulls yet. Let's do it now. Let's deal with those bulls right now. Okay, one, two. Take the yellow ticket. There are no yellow tickets. I don't even know where it is, so I'm not even gonna bother, like, researching, like, 16 different crates. You'd be better off buying a second-hand 3090. Yeah, if you understand what you're searching for. But if you've never bought anything second-hand, then... 
All I'm saying is that not everybody's gonna be comfortable buying secondhand. Plus, there's always risk with secondhand, but yeah. In any case, let's open up the, the barn. But I totally agree with you. I would get the secondhand 3090 than the new 4060. Today's background music is on point. Guys, it didn't do anything. It's still the same as yesterday and the week before and a month before that. Okay, let's get the blue box and let's open it up. There's still a bunch of zombies around the farm location. That's not how you're supposed to clear the farm location. Make sure to check out my guide. Just go on YouTube, type LDOE Psych Farm Location, and there I explain and give all the tips and tricks on how to clear it. It's in the free to play series. Link is in the description and all the other stuff. But yeah, here we are just clearing it. Because why not? Okay, that was a good spread shot. Okay, we're just wasting the spread shot at this point, but hey, that's all right. The barn key should be brought by the Revenger, says Risky. I agree! You know what? That's a good idea, Risky. I, I get it. Revenger would be like the boss of the farm and he has the key. Would be more interesting than just farming that key randomly in one of those sacks. I think that would be more fun. I, I agree with you. I agree, getting the key from the Revenger would be more fun. It's like, it's always... Every time you kill, like, some sort of a boss, a mini-boss, it's always nice to get something in return. So getting a key would be great. Would be totally great. Okay, we all need anything here. That is it, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we totally did it. So, here we've gotten the slicer. So, again, even though we already have this... A god hook blade, but I'm kind of curious. Maybe one day I'll get it again. Even though we don't need it, but still would be fun to see if I'll ever get it. Because so far I've only gotten one from the arena event. Uh, wait, it wasn't even from the arena event. It was from the season. From the level 33 season. In any case, let's get these. That is it. We are done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Let's skedaddle from this place. And uh, I think there are more bulls. I think I killed two of them. There's got to be the third one. Unless this is the second one. I might be a little bit lost. What's your minivan level? Probably level 40. Either level 30 or 40. I think it's level 40. I'm like 99% sure it's level 40. Okay, that said the bull is supposed to be dead here as well. It is dead somewhere. Should have saved survivor notes. Survivor notes don't give a lot of experience. Like, they're very bad. Past, like, level 60 or something, they don't do anything. Even with double the experience, they're very bad. So I don't save those survivor notes. However, valuable notes are pretty decent. So I would suggest you guys to save those valuable notes. If you're a level 209, just save those notes. As in one of the Q&As or something, developers said that they might add more levels. We don't know when. And we don't even know if that's, like, true. If they'll ever add those levels. But... If we ever get new levels, then valuable survivor notes are pretty decent. Just get double the experience buff from the healer and chuck down those valuable survivor notes. Because basic survivor notes are, like, very bad. They're, like, they give almost, like, no experience at all. Will the developers extend the map? I don't know. I have no idea. Are you gonna do the arena event? Maybe. Just got a C4 from the swamp location, says Born. So very nice. Congrats on your on your C4. Okay, we got a doggo. Speaking of doggos, we have another doggo, ladies and gents. That we could unbox here. Where is it? Um I'm sure we have it. No, these are the shepherd puppies. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I don't... Shepherd puppy. There we go. There's the Rottweiler puppy. Let's get that dude. And let's... Put it back in the crate. Sparky. Sparky. More like Ice Wizard. Okay, uh... Gooper. And let's try to raise one of these schmucks. Let's try to breed them. Because why wouldn't we do that? Where is it? Oh, there we go. So, let's watch an ad. It says... Whatever. We'll see if I can watch an ad here. What? I just watched it. It didn't... Whatever. We did it. 
didn't even have to watch an ad for some reason. But we've gotten this resilient buff. And uh, we can now breed this dude with this dude. Finds more resources. Fights longer. So I think we need to save these traits. That's true. Sort of crossbreed. Jake, more like Gooper. In any case, let's try to breed another Duggo. We're still gonna play surrounded, maybe. Where's that other Gooper? It's, there we go, there it is. It's still level three? No! We've gotten the resilient buff and that's it, but it's still at level three, sadly. Unbelievable. Disappointment is measurable. Damn, my day's been ruined. Hey, what are your thoughts on Sunken Land? It's great! The Sunken Land is great. The more I play it, the more I love it. The more I play it, the more I love it. Okay, let's quickly sort out our inventory and let's go for the raid number one of the day. And then we have Bunker Bravo waiting for us. What's your opinion on the factory location? It's the... What factory? The, the, the abandoned factory? It's pretty bad. It's pretty good. It's not worth it. In my opinion. Um, well, I'll just drop all the goop here. The food. The gasoline. And we are ready to go for the raid. Do you still have Dying Light on your PC? It's on Steam. I... I have it. I don't have it installed right now, but it's... I have it on Steam, so yes, I have it. Also, sometimes I get a comment from people saying, Oh, like I have no idea how much space you have on the computer to save all of those games. Guys, I don't have all of those games at the same time. You can just delete them and get them again when you want. There are cloud saves and all the other stuff, so it's not like I keep, like, 50 games at the same time. Okay, that's it. We finally sort. Whoops, the wrong button. We finally sorted out the inventory. It's like, do you have a PlayStation? I have a PS4, but it's uh, I don't use it. Uh, we also have to kill the blind one. Okay, we will do it. We will kill the blind one then. So let's get ready for the blind one. Let's get the whatever we gotta get. Shotguns. Some flare guns. I'll get perhaps a Glock and Uzi. Uh, more broken shotguns and a minigun. It's just to get to the blind one. We're not gonna clear the full third floor. And then we might open up another floppy crate, ladies and gentlemen. Because guess what? We have another floppy crate here. So let's get it. Let's upgrade the weapons that we have here. I'll get perhaps another shotty. Let's get one more shotgun. And, uh, yeah, that should be enough to get to the blind one. It should be easy. Let's do it. Repair the Dragunov and then recycle it. I've already recycled enough Dragunov, but hey, thanks for the idea. So we've already done that like four or five times. It's like, how do you get Uzis? You get them from the police department. I think from Blue Crites. That's where you can find them. Is it worth it to mod Uzis? Depends how many Uzis you got. If you have three or four of them, then probably it's not worth it. If you have like half a rack of them, like maybe 20, 30, 40, then sure, maybe it's worth it. Okay, let's drop that here. Red ticket psych. We're not opening up really red. We could open up a red crate. We don't really open up other crates, but do we need to open up a red crate? And eh, whatever, let's do it. We'll get this and yellows, and we'll open up a green crate. Whatever, let's bring some guns back to the base as well then. So 
Sorry for my ignorance. Uh, is LD of LD player emulator from LD for Elias the Inert? What? LD has nothing to do with Last Inert. It's just called LD player. But it has nothing to do with Last Inert. You can't play Last Inert on it. Just as on every other emulator. But yeah. Okay, guys, we gotta go to Bud Crowd and I'll need the password. So if you know the password, please let me know. Will you play The Long Dark this winter if the new episodes of Winter Mute come? Of course, if the new episodes of Winter Mute come out, I'll absolutely play it. Totally. Um, okay, I see a bunch of same passwords in the chat. I wouldn't be surprised if these are just fake passwords. If this is the fake password. Oh, that was the right one! Thank you, guys! Thanks for giving the right password. It looked like it was, uh, the fake one. But whatever. Okay, we need... 30... Uh... 30 red. Let's get 25 yellow. And 20 green. Okay, let's go now. Will there be more scum episodes? Maybe. I would like to play more scum survival, so maybe there will be more scum survival. I just don't know when. But there will be more scum. Okay, this, and now let's open up these cards then. This, this, and uh, this. Whoops. Okay, so we're gonna bring... Oh, plus we've gotten this extended magazine for the Glock. That's very rare. You don't always get a blue blueprint inside of a green crate. Because that's cool. Here we've gotten a Glock. Here we've got an, uh, two Glocks plus an extra armor set. Two armor sets, four guns. And also here we've gotten another Uzi. Somebody asked for Uzis, and yeah, you get Uzis also at Bond Kralf, and we've gotten a C4. That's great. We're going to bring all that stuff back to the base, except before we do that, we have to open up a floppy crate and kill the blind one. Absolutely. Okay, let's do this. And let's activate that. Okay, let's go to the third floor. That's where we gotta go. You should make a video reacting to your first videos of Last Dinner. We, I've already spoken about that a few live streams ago. Maybe there will be a video about that. Maybe. How about Sunken Land? I'm waiting for the second episode. The Sunken Land episode 2 will be out either tomorrow or after tomorrow. Like, in the next, like, probably two days. Like, tops three days, but probably after tomorrow. Like, most likely it'll be out after tomorrow. Haven't gotten a C4 from 10 crates. Uh, it's all random. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. It is all random. Okay, let's go here. Oh no, my thing is gonna break very soon. So how about I break it now? I get this Uzi. I wanna deal with this toxic spitter. And now let's deal with this exploder. I didn't trust it. It might have overheated. Exploder's dead. I'm gonna try to download Mimu Player. It doesn't let me. Then try to out uh, download another emulator. Maybe another emulator will work. And that is it. All that's left for us is to kill the blind one, and then we can go for the first raid of the day. Raid number uno, ladies and gentlemen. Uno. 
I don't know if there will be a second raid. Maybe it depends what kind of tasks we get. So I can't promise that we'll have the second raid as we have things to do. Maybe we'll go and clear the arena. We'll go to the... To Bunker Bravo. So there are some things that we got to do first. Is LD player safe? It should be. Underwater part of Sunken Lane was nice. Raft underwater made me uncomfortable, says Born Sus. I mean, those are just two different games. The raft was a bit probably more creepy. There were sharks that would constantly attack you. But in Sunken Land, there are sharks, but if you stay away from them, they won't really come after you. But yeah. But yeah, both of those are different games, so. I still like Raft. Raft was awesome. But so is Sunken Land. I also love Sunken Land. IRL last on Earth livestream when need to go in the woods and survive. We don't even survive in the woods and last on Earth. We stay at the base. I really like the Sunken Lane episode. Will you post more of it? Yes, there will be more. Like, for sure, there will be the part two very soon in the next few days. I'd love to do more than just two episodes. So I'll probably do more. But it'll all depend how people enjoy it. But usually, oh, we've gotten this skull pattern. That's that's not very common, but hey, we've gotten it. Will you play uh, Dead Island too? More of it. It was my favorite series, but so short. I mean, we've beaten the game. There's nothing else left to do there. I mean, we could do the side quest, but I mean, it's been such a long time, so yeah. So sadly, I don't think there will be more Dead Island too. What if last turn it became multiplayer like Frostborn? Then it would die immediately. But all jokes aside, probably that's what would happen. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not really. People don't really want multiplayer where their, where their base can be raided. They want... I don't know what they want, to be honest. Have you tried Sons of the Forest? I haven't only tried it. I have beaten it. When it came out, I played it the the the, the day it came out, the second it came out, basically. Wait, why am I doing? Uh, why am I clearing the hard mode third floor? It makes no sense. But let's get that from here. I just accidentally started clearing it. We don't have to be here. I don't have to do it anymore. A trading system. Yeah, again, uh, what I like to say about the trading system is that people think they want the trading system, but they don't want the trading system. They want to scam other players. They want to give three wood for three ATV transmissions. That's the kind of trading system they want. That's what they think when they mean the trading system. If you guys have some goop to trade, most likely it's goop. Most likely other people already have that goop. But hey, to be honest, I wouldn't mind trading system. But yeah, as I said, that's what most likely what people want. Yes, I would scam everyone since four is, of course. Of course. That's the main thing that people want to do. Will you play any more Mountain Blade Banner Lord? I don't know what that game is. I've never played it before on the channel. Uh, how about I drop these things here? And now let's get the guns. Let's bring this stuff back to the base. And that is it. Raid number one. Here I come. Okay, let's get a new armor set. Okay. 
another armor set and a C4. Um, okay, we can take another armor set. Okay, let's say let's get that all. Give the rest of your tickets to the dude. I'm not gonna give the rest of the tickets to the dude. I'm gonna keep them. Stop it. It's not really worth it to give red tickets to that dude. You shouldn't give those red tickets to the dude. Like, really, I, I don't know who should be giving them. It's not like you'll ever have hundreds of those red tickets. Unless you don't open them. Unless you don't open up red crates like me. But yeah, I wouldn't give away those red tickets. Why would I do that? Like, like four guns per 30 red. That's, that's insane value. I do not have space for armor. Okay, I'll have to bring that stuff to the base then. C4 should stack, says Sebastian. Absolutely. Why don't you open red crates? I've just opened the red crate. What are you talking about, Arfin? No, I mean, take. why don't you usually open them? Because it doesn't matter. We have enough guns. Once we need more... When we'll need more guns, we'll open up those red crates. I don't have to set my alarm every, like, 48 hours to, to remember to open up that red crate. I have 300 red, but keeping it. Yeah, of course you should keep it. Like, what? You'll get, like, maximum uh, two floppy crates for that. Like, that's just silly. You shouldn't do that. Like, 300 red will give you 40 guns. So you can have either 40 guns or you can get two floppy crates. What do you choose? Do you think medicine cabinet was worth it? It was interesting to get it, but I don't know if it was worth it. I definitely spent a lot of weapons on that medicine cabinet. However, it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna drop another armor set. Okay, we have sorted out our inventory somehow, some way. Now, let's talk to the raiders. I think we need to craft another armor set and stack of first aid kits. Okay, so let's craft it. Let's see what kind of goop we can get this time. Imagine how many C4s from 300 tickets. I mean, you can open up 10 crates, so you'll get between 0 to 10 C4s. You might get only one C4. You will get more C4s from two floppy crates than from probably 300 red tickets. Where are uh, scum videos? It's been one month, dude. Why waiting for scum videos? Uh, I... Don't know if I want to play more scum. Like, there will be more scum. It's just that I don't like mech robots. If I disable mech robots... I'm not sure if I'm playing the game fairly. People are like, Sorry, you disabled the, the mech robots. And I'm like, eh, true, I did disable them. Maybe it's not fair. But I hate mech robots. I really don't like them. That's like the main reason why I don't play the game. Because I can't disable them. Otherwise, like, it's not fair. But if I play with them, I don't want to play it. And same thing with the new bunkers. Like, I want to go to those new bunkers. But at the same time, I'll just die there. So it's pointless to go there. But at the same time, I have to go there because... Hey, new bunkers... They're not really new, it's been a few months now. So there are things that I have to do. In Scum Survival. Because that's content, but I really don't want to do it. So I'm thinking, what do I do? Because I really like despise those mech robots. They're not fun at all. Like I, I, like, I hate them to the point that I just don't want to play Scum Survival. If I disable mech robots right now and I don't have to go to those... Uh, abandoned bunkers, yeah, that's... Of course, I can play Scum Survival again daily. It's fine. But yeah, those two things are keeping me from playing the game. Every time I just remember, like, mech robots, I like, get shivers and I don't want to play it. Uh, 
Um, let's go to the top. Pre-double your raid. You can't pre-double your raid. Can you speak louder? I put my volume high and I can't even hear you clearly. Try to get a speaker then. Or, yeah, or something. A speaker, a boombox, or whatever. It's like, but I don't hear you. Well, hopefully you heard that. So yeah, get a speaker. Okay, let's get some, some, some hatchets. And yeah, most importantly, also, like, people aren't that interested in scum survival videos. Usually those scum survival videos takes, take a lot of time to make. If I have to, like, sneak past those mech robots or something, that'll take, like... I don't know, a lot of time. And... Uh, they're not really worth that time. I don't have any wood! Ladies and gentlemen, I have to go outside to... To ration. To use rations to get some wood. Oh my god, it's like his Fort Moss bag. No, no, we were talking about the... Bunker Bravo event. Okay, let's auto this. 46 wood. More wood! 80 wood. 120. Okay, that'll be enough wood for a while. It's like I press mute and I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Try to unclick the mute button. Try to click the mute button again. It'll, it shouldn't mute. Are you Canadian? Nope, I'm not from Canada. Okay, let's get some... Some, some hatchets. But again, guys, speaking about scum survival, there will be more scum survival. I'm almost sure about it. I just don't know when. Okay, let's craft five basic hatchets and let's go. Two, three, four, and five. Whoops, there was supposed to be a door. Guns are modded, everything's modded. Let's get a C4. And let's go to that raid. If it's goop, it's goop. That's life. Instructions unclear, I clicked the... Unclicked mutant mute button. Okay. Hopefully that works. We should play some battle royale in Scum. I want to see you suffer, says the A. I've actually played some battle royale off camera like a while ago. It was pretty fun. Lara. Okay, let's loot this base, ladies and gents. Uh, L-D-O-E L-D-O-E Raid Lara Let's see if it's good Or goop Okay, I think I Know how to enter this base Okay, then let's do it Let's go for it. I'd watch scum battle royale videos, not a big fan of survival aspects of darkness. Maybe. You did off camera, my disappointment is measurable and my day's been ruined. We don't really play these kind of things here on the channel. People aren't really interested in like shooter stuff. To be honest, if it ain't last on Earth, it, it's most likely I probably shouldn't play it. Okay, we're gonna enter from here. Except before we do this, I want to still drop my C4 in case I explode a wall or something. Okay, let's open up these walls here. 
These chests, I mean, not walls. Second channel time. I am thinking about a second channel. I've been thinking about it for years now. Any recommendations about the best place to use rations? Well, I just use rations to farm either wood or stones. That's where I use them personally. Okay. I mean, I think that's fine. Let's just start opening up these chests. And then we'll see. Okay, I'm not taking those beans. Carrots, I'll take them to the base. Whatever. Carrots! Unbelievable. I'll get these. Do I do I need planks? I think we already have a lot of planks. Some wood is great, but we already got enough wood, so I don't know if we need more. Psychic React second channel. No, no, guys, I don't want the, the React channel. What are we gonna react to? To last and earth raids. Psychic reacting to last and earth raids. Are you planning on playing Dying Light too? Uh, after the most recent updates. Um, I don't know. It's a great game. But I don't think it'll work here on the channel. Okay, let's get this. I'll probably get the bandages. Uh, goop. Oop. Dude, we're at 77 noise already. There's a limestone deposit here just under this chest. What is the best event that is back? Bunker Bravo event. It's been probably like, what, three weeks or something? Since we've had that Bunker Bravo event, so it's back. And it's epic. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, there is a way to get that chest. Okay, there we go. I can open it. It just has stones. Well, I'm gonna soften up these chests. I started your DayZ playlist. It's good so far, Suspanda. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying the DayZ videos. I did enjoy playing DayZ as well. Stone chest on top of stone. Exactly! I didn't think about that, but yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll start opening up things here. I'll get that gold back to the base. Um, perhaps let's drop some stuff back in the chopper. Just in case. Can you do a Last of Us playthrough? I've already done it on the channel. Okay, this, this, oh my goodness, you don't it. Okay, let's go. As long as I don't get stuck here, we should be fine. Okay, there's some um, fuel, heal up, the tickets. Oh my goodness, I didn't soften up that chest. Heal! Okay, let's go. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have six first aid kits. And let's skedaddle from this base. So, I mean, we have gotten what... What I wanted to take. That base definitely had some more resources. It had some wood. It had some other stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to give this base Ike's approval. Even though I didn't really need those things. But I don't think that base was bad. Like, if you needed wood, if you needed stones, that base had it. And again, it's not an amazing base, but... You could definitely come back home with a full inventory of stuff. And there are worse bases. So yeah, that base gets Ike's approval. What is the hardest location? Bunker Bravo or Laboratory? Hard mode Laboratory is harder than Bunker Bravo because you need to have Genesis weapons. And they're difficult to get. But probably Bunker Bravo without the event is still more difficult than the Laboratory, even in hard mode. 
if you don't consider the fact that you need to get a bunch of guns for the laboratory. As in Bunker Bravo, you are on a timer. The radiation keeps going up. What's with the floppy crate? I haven't opened it up yet. We're gonna go and open up the floppy crate right now. this and that's it let's just drop some gold and uh, the thing whatever it's called an electronic circuit That'll infected crate. Stop it! If we get an infected crate, the live stream ends right now. That's it. That's the challenge that we're doing. Wait, we have to pay the raiders. Let's probably give them spears. That's why we didn't have any wood because I gave them all of my wood. There we go. Let's call them on the radio again. And let's hop. On the chopper. And let's open up that in that floppy crate. I almost called it an infected floppy crate. We have now too many carrots. That is bad. Which is good. It's a good thing to. It's a good problem to have. Could always just wait for the Bravo event again. Yeah, I mean, you should wait for another Bravo event. You shouldn't clear Bunker Bravo without the event. Bunker Bravo event is the best event. And you should clear Bunker Bravo only during this event. Um, There we go. There's our flop crate. The infected crate. Guys, stop it! Do not mention the infected crate in the chat. If we get the infected crate, things will happen. Right? Game still crashes, says Chris Halter. I think they released some sort of a patch. Maybe it fixes something. I don't know. How many guns would you need to clear the second, third, and fourth for the first time with, with the event? Maybe like 12 guns? 12 blocks? 12, 15 block stops. Unmodded, I'm talking. Okay, let's get this. And this is not an infected crate, so that's great. And could have been better if we had gotten here a grenade launcher, but that's fine. It's all right. I didn't want that grenade launcher. And we've gotten this mechanical site for the Winchester. Okay, let's bring the loot back to the base. It only took me eight half modded AKs. What, you took four AKs to clear the entire Bunker Bravo? That's not true. There's no way you can clear entire Bunker Bravo with only four AKs during this event. Like, ten fully modded AKs. Okay, I'll believe that. Maybe eight. I don't even know about eight, but like ten, twelve, but not four. It took me nine AKs. Yeah, I I would believe that. I would believe two full, uh, nine full AKs maybe. I did eight and one Glock. Yeah, the those numbers I believe, but four, four AKs totally not true. But yeah, it is what it is.
play Rust. We've already played Rust on the channel. There might be more Rust in the future. Can't promise anything, as I don't know anything, but maybe there will be more. Uh, okay, these things go there, and the rest... Uh, whatever, I'll just drop everything here. There we go, we did it. We have sorted out our inventory. We have... Uh, talk to the raiders. Maybe later on we'll do another raid, but that we'll see. Now we have other stuff to do. We need to go to that bunker, bravo. We've cleared it once already with unmodded weapons with only Glocks. We're not doing that today again. If you want to watch, just probably type... Bunker Bravo, Cyric or something. We've done that. So we'll just blast the guns. And that's it. We've even used some Winchesters. Believe it or not. We did use a couple of Winchesters. Yeah, that's more than enough weapons. For the entire Bunker Bravo. Is the grenade launcher with the AK worth it? It does use a lot of durability. I'll get another armor set just in case. And some food. Because how can I go to Bunker Bravo without food? Uh, this, and that is it. Combat armor better. There are better armors than this tactical armor. And what's the combat armor? I don't see the combat armor that you're talking about. The... The CBRN suit armor? This one? No, the CBRN combat armor. Yeah, that's better, but you don't really need it during this Bunker Bravo event. It's a lot of healing. That is a lot of healing. But yeah, that hazmat armor, that CBRN whatever armor, it's not really worth it during this event as you don't really need it. Antirads, we don't need them during this event. I'm looking for a video where you clear 99 waves using mines, how to find it. Uh, it should be there, we've done that multiple times. Also, we've used those mines even quite recently. Wait, what was the live stream? Um... Well, we've done that quite recently, but yeah, I don't remember where- wait, why am I here? We're going to Bunker Bravo. So what said lasts two runs? Okay. Do terminals have to be completed to run Bunker Bravo or are they optional? They're optional. It's a lot e it's easier with them. But if you don't have those terminals, you can still clear Bunker Bravo during this event. It's still gonna be easy. Even without the terminals. Did you enjoy Rust? Yes, I liked Rust. So make sure to check it out if you haven't seen the Rust videos that we've done. Also the Rust live streams. We have a decent amount of Lust, uh, Rust live streams. Alright, let's hop to the second floor. And let's begin the adventure. How many times do I have to clear Bunker Bravo to assemble the ATV? Depends. 30 times. Okay, let's disable both of these. Maybe, you know what? This time, maybe let's get the opening locks just to show you that what kind of loot we can get here with this opening locks. Whatever, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do the opening locks thing. Okay. 
Okay, these dudes are dead. Oh no, I did not disable the turrets here! Should have disabled the turrets! No! The mistakes were made. I hate these turrets with passion. Like I really hate them. I don't want to be here without the turret with the with these turrets. I never played with these turrets. I think this is my second time seeing these turrets here as I always disabled them. Dude, I'm gonna explode. Dude, I just wasted these first eight kids. Did you see through how many first eight kids I just went there? I just hate these turrets. The game becomes very confusing. I hate that. I hate them. With passion. Look at this. That's it. We already chewed up through the... Through a stack of these first eight kids. And there was a heavy turret that destroyed me. Unbelievable! I hate these turrets. That's why you always disable them. That's why you always disable these... Stupid turrets. I had 40 health. I thought, you know what? That's it. I'm not gonna spam those first aid kits. I clicked the heal though. I had 40 health. I clicked the heal, but that didn't register again because it takes time to heal for some reason. <sighs> well, let's go back. Restart. It's fine. We'll continue. We don't need to restart. Actually, we should probably restart. That'll be better if we just restarted. Uh, Hog left the hand wall and then only one set of you gets at the time. Say so yeah, only like two turrets will be shooting you instead of all four. That makes sense. However, I still don't like those turrets. Don't worry, it was all perfectly calculated. Yes, indeed. So we need to do the turret terminal at least. Uh, says Dustin. I mean, yeah, I would suggest you to assemble that turret terminal. Again, you can't go you can't go past it. It's just that I've never played with those turrets. I never bothered like figuring out any strategies for it or whatnot. I just didn't care about them. I just I can just go through them and that's it. Restart the terminal or the radiation will increase. It's fine. I mean, it can increase. It doesn't really matter during this event. It's just annoying that I, I clicked the heal. I saw my health. I clicked the heal, but it still didn't register. It's kind of silly. Okay, let's go here. Back to the second floor. Bravo event has like 10 hours left. That's more than 10 hours. It has... One day and seven hours. We could have restarted it. But it's too late now. Oh, that's it. We did it. Stupid turrets still hate them. I do hate those turrets with passion. Okay, so over there we have the room. Whoops. We have this this room that I've enabled, the opening locks room or whatnot. Here we can get some awesome items. Except we're gonna loot that room. I mean, we can even loot it right now, it's fine. There we go, so here you can get these items. Amazing. So maybe for the second floor, it's not really worth it to enable the opening locks terminal. It is worth it for the fourth floor. Can you shoot the turrets? You can shoot the turrets, but hey, you're wasting guns on those turrets. Oh no! All of those bullets that I just wasted on the red zombie. So you can definitely shoot down those turrets, except it's probably better to just run past them. 
Yeah, just don't run in the middle like I did there. Just run through one side. And yeah, only one set of turrets will attack you. If you run through the middle, like all four turrets will be shooting you. AKs just melt during this event. Five minutes to level. Yeah, I agree. AKs are the best. During this event, because they do plus 25% more damage. Oh, this dude just died. That's great. That is it. We just have one more floor to clear here. No. Okay, drop the shield, mate. How about we enable this, this, and this. And yeah, let's just deal with the liquidator. We're gonna blast one more AK on it, why not? Okay, we got it. So the second floor is done. We've just leveled up, whoops, once again here. That is great, so let's get the crate and let's go to the third floor. You need to do Bravo 30 times to get the ATV. Yes, unless you have the opening locks terminal, then you only need to do it 15 times. If you do 15 times during this event, then it's insane. It's very cheap. Okay, let's activate. Again, for the memes, we're going to activate the opening locks terminal and then the event clearance. Let's activate that. And then let's keep going. Third floor is the hardest. Yeah, probably because of the boss at the very end. The boss there is pretty difficult. But during the cement, it's, it's decent. It's definitely doable. Very doable. I'm glad we disabled the vent clearance because that vent clearance is stupid. You should definitely prioritize your vent clearance. Like vent clearance, patrol cancel. But the vent clearance is better than the patrol cancel. Kinda. Because even if you die now in bunker Bravo, you can still go back here. Still, radiation is going to be pretty high, so you still have to be fast. But if you don't disable the vent clearance, these zombies will crawl out again. So if you die and you run past this area again, then these uh, spitters, whatever they're called, they'll crawl out, crawl out again. That's not really cool. What does patrol cancel do? There are some certain rooms that release zombies. They release riot zombies. I'm gonna show you where is that room. Like every floor has those rooms. Usually there's only one room like that. Okay, both of those screamers are dead. Yeah, I definitely took way too many guns. We we're almost done with the third floor. And we still have almost all of our weapons. Toxic spewers are annoying. Yes, indeed. Look at this here. We could get more stuff. Uh, this is the room. Again, usually clear those rooms once you are done with Bunker Bravo. That'll be faster, but here we can get that car battery. Let's get it. So, yeah. The th I still probably wouldn't even suggest you enabling this uh, opening locks terminal on the third floor as well. But uh, here, guys. This room, this is the room that I'm talking about. Here I had to fight this guy, the Juggernaut, and the Riot Zombie. So we had to kill the Juggernaut, and now we gotta deal with the Riot Zombie. And there we go. But if you enable the patrol cancel, you don't have to fight the zombies in this room. So you do save a bit of time. Just a little bit. Okay, let's get this armor. Oh no, I don't want the slasher to attack me.
Do explorers damage other zombies? No, explorers only damage you. Okay, that definitely hurt a bit. But hey, that's alright. That is it! We can just go and fight that boss with these AKs. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Let's probably take our time. Do we have to take our time? We could maybe just shred him here. But I don't have my grenade launcher, so I wouldn't risk that. I'd rather just fight them here one by one. Okay. We can kill these guys. So yeah, during this event, just take your time. Don't rush. Whoops. Okay, it's gonna be easy. Once you kill those uh, red zombies, it's even easier. They're gonna just wait. Hide behind these pillars so that Dr. Dread does not stun you. Okay, now we're gonna lower his health below 200 so that one more zombie spawns. And now we can deal with this other dude. And now the Dr. Dread. And there we go. That Just like that, we have dealt with Dr. Dread. During this event, the dude is a lot easier. You don't really have to kill those three red zombies. You can just... Leave them alone, but yeah, if you get a chance, definitely kill them. There we go, we've opened that up, and let's go now to the fourth floor. What is the chance of getting an ATV transmission at the transport hub? You can't get it at the transport hub. Um, let's go here. Let's enable once again this patrol cancel just so that we open up the fourth floor because I usually don't enable it So I just want to show you what kind of things we can get here I've gotten one of the transport hub. Oh, what are the chances of getting ATV transmission at the transport hub? You can't get in it guys. I apologize. I meant at bunker Bravo. I kept clearing bunker Bravo and I Red transport hub, and I thought you mean bunker bravo. But yeah, guys, at the transport hub, you can't get an ATV transmission. I think I've even gotten once my uh, one myself, maybe. I'm not sure, but it is possible to get an ATV transmission at the transport hub. It is possible, but not at the bunker bravo. I meant bunker bravo. So at Bunker Bravo, you cannot get an ATV transmission, but at the transport hub, you can. Even though Bunker Bravo is meant to clear to get your ATV. It's just very stupid. It's silly. Okay, this dude's gonna pop. This Exploder is gonna pop as well. Okay, we dealt with all those guys. Whatever, let's get an M16. Is doing deliveries at the port worth grinding? Uh, depends. If you have the spare resources, sure. If you have the patience to send all of those deliveries, then sure. Maybe it's worth it. You can get an ATV transmission once in a while. Like, very rarely. You didn't activate the opening lock panel. I did activate it. It's at the end. Hello? Drop the shield, mate. Why do zombies have half the HP because of the... Because of Bunker Bravo event. Here, guys, we have... Oh, no, I have enabled... The, I didn't enable the, the thing. You activate the patrol cancel. Yes, I accidentally got the patrol cancel, not the opening locks terminal. I apologize. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the opening locks terminal. But hey, it would be here, then. I'm gonna die right now. No, I survived. That's good. Everything was calculated, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm gonna die right now. But we still survived. Sheesh! Almost thought that we'll die. Okay, so here, you'll be able to... You'd be able to open up the door and the, there you can get... Again, garbage, but... You can get there a red gas cylinder for your ATV. 
And basically the main reason for you to clear Bunker Bravo is just for those red cylinders. So that's why it's awesome to get it. To get that opening locks terminal. Was the use of car batteries. You need them to assemble your ATVs. You can also use the car battery at the swamp location to get lead ore, but it doesn't do anything, so it's useless. It's mainly for the ATV. Um, okay. Let's deal with the boss. Well, we did it. We bloody did it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Let's open this up. And uh, let's 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 get the loot and let's daddle from this place. I think now the arena is waiting for us because we still haven't done the arena yet, have we? You know, we still haven't done the arena. So we need to go and do the arena. However, before we do this, we gotta bring the loot, which isn't even worth it during this event. But actually, maybe, like, getting four carbon composites, five carbon composites, or whatever, by using only, like, I don't know, maybe three AKs max for the second floor, like, three fully modded AKs, like, it's probably worth it to get, like, four or five carbon composites if you need them. But if you need them, you won't have carbon fully modded AKs, or maybe you will. In any case, it's probably worth it to get the carbon composites. That's why this event is great. For the ATVs and for the carbon composites. And there we go, we've gotten that gas cylinder. Um. So let's skedaddle from this place. No, it's the same with or without the event. What's the same with or without the event? Locklaw enjoyed Resident Evil 4. That game was epic. I loved it. Okay, we've gotten more crates like that. Okay, great. So, how about we open some of them up? We have three infinite packs. If we get this new skin, we're gonna probably equip it. Because Halloween is almost here, so we might as well just have it. The amount of carbon you get out of the chest. Oh, yeah, it is the same. It's just that, I mean, it's... During this event, it's worth it, as you don't have to use that many guns. Without the event, you'd have to use, like, seven, eight guns per floor. So you'd have to use, like, seven, eight guns on the second floor just to get, let's say, five carbon composites. Here you have to, to get to use, like, three, maybe four guns maximum to get uh, the same amount of carbon composites. So that's why it's worth it during this event. Unless you weren't saying that to me, unless you were talking to the chat or something. But yeah, I think I'll clar I have to clarify that. Okay, let's go back to the to the base. There's no point to doing the arena on your main anymore. You should start doing the arena on your free to play instead, says Ram Movies. There's no point to play on my main account anymore for like four or five years, but yet here I am. So that's why we're gonna clear the arena. Like I just cleared Bunker Bravo. Like we didn't have to do it. Like I totally didn't need anything from it. We just cleared it because why not? Same thing with the arena. We are going to clear it. And you can't stop me. See, during the previous live stream, people told me to go and clear the arena. Now, people are like, Cyric, you don't have to go there. Um. Uh, whatever, I'll just drop the things here. The future Cyric will figure it all out. You have to clear the motel as well. Okay. This, the grenades. And gasoline. The future psychic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the future psychic will have to clean up this box and figure out where everything goes. Maybe I'll sort it out after the live stream or something. 
Maybe I'll just eat that box. We'll see. Um, the witch, the other stuff. Okay, maybe we'll do another raid, buddy. Before that, before we do that other raid, as I said, we have the arena. The arena event. So we're gonna go to the arena event. Uh, we need a few VSSs. Okay. We need a few AKs. All right. Dude, this arena event will use more guns than Bunker Bravo. When you think about it, it's kind of nuts, isn't it? Wait, I don't want to use all of my AKs on that event. Bro, for real. On the other hand, who cares? Let's get it and let's get some other guns. this this and what else can we get i don't know whatever let's get a scar that's way too many weapons look at all the guns that we've gotten that's way too many of them however here i am still going use confetti scars i'm gonna save those confetti scars for later The future psych is gonna be like, oh, I should have done that then. And the future psych most of the time agrees with the past sire. I don't know if he'll agree on this box though, but yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna now spend like 20 minutes sorting it out now during the live stream. The future psych will understand. The future psych will forgive the past sire. He will understand. It's fine. Can I have a waffle here? We don't have waffles. We only have pancakes here. I'm sorry. No waffles, only pancakes. It's like I just joined. I enjoyed your Sunken Land video yesterday. When the next episode says Wardy. Welcome to the stream. And the next episode will be tomorrow or after tomorrow. Most likely after tomorrow. But future Cyric says the A. It's fine. Am I the future Cyric right now? Like I... You're already the future me. The five seconds ago me is the past Cyric. I am already the future Cyric. And I am the future Cyric of the Cyric that just asked the questions about the future me. So every second is the future you. Which is kind of crazy. When you think about it. Also, here's another fact. I say it during every live stream. Today is the youngest you'll ever be, guys. Remember that. Did I upgrade all the guns? Yes, I did. Deep thoughts with Happy Cyric. Okay. You're always current, Cyric. Yeah, you're always current, Cyric. But you can think about the future, Cyric. But the current is also past. Like every second, the current becomes past. Okay, in any case, let's just begin this arena event, ladies and gentlemen. Brain is braining. It do be like that. The brain is indeed braining. Okay, guys, so if you do not know how to do this arena event, let me quickly explain. Don't let those zombies hit you and don't hit any walls because when you hit these walls, these zombies kind of stutter. You see? The gnarly billy just stuttered. The gnarly billy doesn't spawn any zombies on the first wave, but it does spawn them on like, what, wave two or three? So just don't hit the walls. Look at this. I'm going to hit the wall again. And the dude just started. And when they started, they spawned those zombies. So don't hit the walls and don't let them attack you. Don't let them near you. That's it. I would suggest you to bring like sweat boots because with the sweat boots, you are a lot faster. If you can cook the recipe, but you run faster, it'll be even easier. But yeah, just run around. They won't spawn too many zombies and it should be easy peasy. Is it worth it to do the arena when you have a rack on modded guns? Yeah, if you don't have the right mods, you should definitely do the arena. It's one of the best ways in the game to get mods. You will get, for clearing this arena fully, you will get two purple mods. You will get four blue mods and you will get 12 common mods, which is a lot of mods when you think about it. You do have to use a lot of weapons on it. 
on this event, but where else are you gonna use your weapons? Yo, Billy, thanks for the super chat, Billy. Billy says Billy is cool. I agree. I totally agree with you. Billy is cool. <laughs> we just dealt with gnarly Billy. Do we have more Billies in the chat? Billies assemble. Isn't it cool like having your name Billy and you have gnarly Billy in the game here? Insane. Say hey, Billy, thanks once again for the super chat. How many modded guns does it take to do this event? Less than 15, maybe 12. I don't know. You need 20 Glocks though. 20 unmodded Glocks to do this event fully. It is expensive, however. I accidentally touched the wall and uh, whoops. Now Lee Billy's gonna spawn more of these parasites. However, these parasites are pretty easy. Just step on them and that's fine. Ryan, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button, Ryan. Thank you, thank you. Whoops. Wait, what happened? Why, why do I keep letting him attack me? I don't get it. That was sad. Unbelievably sad. So yeah, Billy, thanks once again. Thank you, thank you. Concentrate, of course. Oh no, I'm stuck on these spits. Yeah, just focus on running around. And it should be doable. Yeah, gnarly Billy in my opinion is the easiest, especially if you have the VSSs. My real name is Darius, and I was born and raised in Lithium. Okay. We got this dude. And is this now level 15 boss? Uh, level 5, not level 15. Oof. Imagine we have 15 levels of these bosses. Will you continue the 5 plus raid series? I enjoyed watching them. I don't think so. Perhaps maybe there will be more videos like that in the future, but... As of right now, I'm not really thinking about making more videos like that. We already do enough raids during live streams. Stupid gnarly village sleep. Just give up. And sleep. Yo, the darkness. Thanks for the super chat. Could you do a A1 plus lab with brutalizer? Yeah or nah? Could you do A1 plus lab with the brutalizer? No. You're not gonna do it because uh, the hard mode laboratory. I think you meant the A A plus, like the, the hard mode laboratory, right? Wow, 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 wow. So yeah, the hard mode laboratory requires Genesis weapons. And the Brutalizer is not a Genesis weapon. You'll be doing only one damage to those zombies there, so you're not going to be able to do it. Um, Genesis weapons, let's go there. So yeah, the Darkness, thanks for the super chat. And uh, no, you won't be able to kill any zombies with the Brutalizer, as you'll do only one damage. 
I mean, it'll take forever to do it. Not even forever. Like, I mean, those zombies have insane amount of health. You're not going to be able to do it. The normal mode, yes, you can do it. But the other mode will... Like, near... Imp probably impossible. Okay, let's begin this thing. Is it a... Oh, no, it's Genesis weapons. I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Wall trick them for one damage. I mean, it'll take forever to do it. Have you seen the new GTA 6 trailer? Nope. See, unbelievable. Okay, let's deal with some of these blood chasers. So they're dead. I wish I had more of those neutralizers and other stuff because using this shotgun on the Feral Jesse isn't the best. The shotgun kind of kind of sucks, to be honest. But hey, however, we are dealing with this guy, and that's all what matters. We did it. Do you still play in your second free-to-play account? Yes, sure. There will be more free-to-play videos. To lose all of your stuff when you die in this event? No, you don't. Okay, let's heal up. Let's get another one of these. So I usually try to shoot him just around the corners here. Seems like it's working out. Whoops. I did save those better weapons, my neutralizer and my equalizer for the level four and level five Feral Jesse. Jesse is the easiest one. Uh, I'd say Gnarly Billy is easier than Jesse. But okay. Now let's deal with this dude. We have this neutralizer. Should be doable. It's a lot better than that silly shotgun. It takes a long time to shoot with that shotgun. Here we are dealing with this Feral Jesse much, much faster.
Okay, and that's it. Let's deal with the level 5 Feral Jesse. Um, let's begin this. We're gonna get this Equalizer. Jesse Pinkman says Ether. Okay. We're cooking. Jesse, get ready. We're cooking. few more loops. I'll probably break this neutralizer first. There's no need to bring a broken gun back to the base. Might as well just use it fully. Whoops, almost touched the wall. Do you watch anime? Not really. However, I do like Dragon Ball. I used to watch that. Uh, let's get this. Okay, we need AKs now. I definitely took a bit too many weapons. But I... That is alright. It's better to like shoot and then spam the fire button. Maybe. The amount of time Psych runs into walls is, is insane. Literally ran zero times. But alright, Boomer. They're not rocks, they're minerals. Absolutely. Mr. White, is that you? Yo, White! Yo, Mr. White. Okay, let's get this and uh, level three. Why you can enter the game already using three different devices and internet and still can't enter? It's already been one day. Can't enter the game. I don't know why. Make sure to contact support. levels the arena event can't believe we're doing this arena event ladies and gentlemen we don't even need to be here and yet here we are how do you get so many customer support comments in the live stream i have no idea Maybe people think... I mean, I get it. If they have an issue, maybe... I see why they want to ask here. But yeah, most of the time, there's nothing I can do to help. Not most of the time, but there's literally... I can never help. Because I'm not a developer or anything. So always, guys, if you have any issues, make sure to contact support. Got her. And one more level. The last one, ladies and gentlemen. Level 5. I didn't use up the goop weapons, but I had to use up all of my AKs. Unbelievable. Days Gone 2 will come out tomorrow. Okay, that's a lie. Yeah. 
Why don't you special abilities of your weapons like AK-47? Because it's good. The abilities are pretty bad. Thanks, Cyric! You're welcome. GTA 6 is going to be amazing since Paint of Time. It will be. But is it going to be as good as Last on Earth? I don't think so. Last on Earth will always be the best. It's the game of gods. My armor is going to break here. Every time I'll play like a different game on the channel, people will always compare that game to Last And look, no matter what game, Oh, it's just like Last Dinner. It's the same thing with GTA. If I'll play GTA 6, if it ever comes out, if I ever play GTA 6, people will still say, oh, it's just like Last Dinner. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, Last Dinner is the best game ever. No matter what I think, no matter what I say. It's just, no, guys, you know that Last Dinner is the best game. In any case, we are done with this event. Let's get the goop. Let's get all of the items and let's open up those blueprints even though we don't need them. However, I still want to open them up. The files with rare blueprints, let's see. What kind of goop we can get? We've gotten this red laser for the M16. And we've gotten an engine blueprint for, for the saw blade maze, okay. Understandable. We didn't need these blueprints, but hey, we got them. We got them regardless. Uh, goop. Uh, goop. And infinite pack. Okay, we did get another outfit. Cool. How many more biker uh, bike skins and other skins can I do I need to get? Only then I'll be able to start getting those the Dragunovs. I will join and become a member when next time you stream cause I forgot my card details. But anyways, I'm gonna go by Carrick. Enjoy the stream. Billy, thanks for the super chat. Thank you for your support of the channel. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. No worries about anything. It's all good. Have a great day, Billy. Thanks for everything. Take care. Billy. Now we have the Halloween outfit. Yes, indeed, we did get the Halloween outfit. Forgot about Brian. Yes, indeed, Brian. Billy. Say, so yeah, take care, Billy. Thanks for everything. Once again, and uh, we're probably going to switch to a different outfit, even though I don't want to do it, but it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. This is the outfit that we've gotten. Oh, Lord. Do I want to be like this? Look what you made me do. Well, whatever. We'll stay with this outfit for a while, then. We'll stay with this outfit. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> I'll probably change it later. Looks so goofy. The outfit does look a little bit goofy, I agree. Maybe not even a little bit. Like, it's solidly goopy. Um, let's get this. Pumpkin bike plus wash. <laughs> Stop it. You can't force me. I cannot. I don't have to wash my... I almost washed myself speaking of washing. Yeah, I don't have to wash my chopper. I'm not doing it. Okay, we need to deal with the witch. Um, this and that. Okay. Okay, okay. Hello, Carrick. I got the purple machete peepee -pee from Hop Station. Am I so lucky? Did you get it, Ute? Purple machete peepee. -pee. Thank you, uh, Osmar. Thank you uh, for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. And you've gotten the purple machete from the transport hub station. 
And did you get it too? I got it. I got it from from the season level 33. I got it here on this level. That's where I've gotten my purple machete blueprint. But hey, congrats on your purple machete blueprint. On your purple machete pee, -pee. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat and congrats on your blueprint. Um, the witch. That's what we gotta do. We gotta deal now with the witch. That sounded way better with Brian's voice. Yeah, Brian is amazing. Brian is the best. Brian! Brian! Okay, shotguns, this stuff. Do we need anything else? Just in case, let's get one more Glock. Probably we won't need it, but let's get it anyways. Does the Turk work against intruders? No, the turrets don't work against intruders. Turrets don't do anything. Somebody said blueprint? Yes. What's your citizen name, says Virgo? Do you also want my social security number, my credit card numbers and everything? Excuse me, mister. It's like, what's your government name? Do Brian voice for the rest of the stream. I can't do Brian voice. I'm not Brian. Um, I forgot where we're going. Oh, to, to fight the witch. That's what's up. Only 16 medkits. We have more. We have here and 16 here extra. That's enough. Change the bike skin. Guys, stop it! Don't touch the bike skin. We're not changing it anytime soon. Maybe later. Maybe we'll change it later. Not anytime soon. Maybe in five minutes I'll change it. It all depends. Just the last, uh, just the last nine numbers of your social should do. Says Matthew. I'll think about it. But as I said, I probably don't even have a social security number. I don't even know where's my birth certificate, so... There's that. Maybe I'm not even real. Going to yell. We're gonna deal with a dumb disease wolf. It's been a while since we've done spread shots. <sighs> Let's see how much I'll fail again. Okay, that was almost a 10 out of 10 spread shot. That was a 9.5 spread shot, which is sad. Couldn't kill one more zombie there. But I still, that was a decent spread shot, at least a 9. Psychic is an anomaly, says the A. As if you have a birth certificate. Where is it? Like, nobody knows where it is. Understandable, have a nice day. Says ether, yes. Whoops, could have died there. Can you show me the Forlorn Fair event? All grand prizes. The Forlorn Fair event is gone. So that's it. There are no prizes anymore. Can't show them because I can't see them. Yeah. 
Okay, you gotta just stay here in one place. And the spread shot. There we go, we did it. We bloody did it. That was a decent spread shot. Have it in a safe place with other important documents. DA and your birth certificate. Ah, my goodness, I died. Because of what? Because of the birth certificate. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're lying. You don't have it. Admit it. And stop it. Stop it. I was like this close to killing the witch. 50 health. I saw that it's coming, but I was like, ah, and we died. Unbelievable. My disappointment is immeasurable. What day is I died from the witch. <gasps> Crazy to think about that. Birth certificate. What team is finally back, Cyric? I don't understand the question, but hey, you got the spirit. Welcome to the stream. Even though the question makes zero sense. Like, complete zero. Why not restore? Because it doesn't matter? My birth certificate accepted full responsibility. Thank you. Thank you. Also, the fact that they changed uh, coins to rations is kind of absurd, right? Right? To restore your energy. Response to Bill. It D says Matthew. Yes, indeed, Billy. Response to Bill. It D. <gasps> Where's my dead body? Okay, it's here. Hopefully, I'll be able to take it. Yes, I can. Okay, let's go for the witch again. This time, no birth certificates. None of those shenanigans. Said wasted because of the stupid stragglers, but it's fine. I thought you lose your loot, that's why I said, Why not restart? Oh, yeah, you, you don't really lose your loot, you can come back here and pick it up again. Will she lose her arms or not? There we go. One arm is gone. She still can do a lot of damage with the other arm. Oh my goodness. Just get the stupid shotgun. Oh, this is she lost both of her hands. That's it. It's impossible for us to die right now. If I die, I have a stink to lose her. That's it. Whatever you do, don't read this comment, says DA. But I did read it. Thank you. That was a good comment. Nice spread shot. She has one arm still. Does she? Oh no, she still has one arm. I thought she lost it. What a schmuck.
She did not lose her arms. In any case, we dealt with her. We've gotten another head. Whatever, let's bring it back to the base. It's like we should play State of the K2. We have played some State of the K2 on the channel. We did play it. Do you have a passport, says Wardy. What's a passport? I have a YouTube channel. Who needs a passport? I have Gmail. Is that enough? Why you were there? Because I wanted to fight the witch? Bunker Zulu is literally going to be the boss rush game mode, probably. Uh, okay, we destroyed both these armor sets. Let's get another one. Look at the amount of heads we have here. That's epic. Recycle those armor. You know how long it, it would take me to recycle that goop? Are you guys out of your mind? Have you lost your mind? Probably. I spent 500 bucks in one week on this game, says Texas Red. Nice investment. Some people invest in Bitcoin, some people invest in their health. Some people invest in last generate coins. It is what it is. You do what you gotta do. Um, okay, bunker alpha boom just cleared. Let's craft 21st eight kits and let's go for the second raid. I've never seen Lila and uh, Angry Cyric at the same time in the chat. I mean, I haven't seen Angry Cyric in the chat for a long time now. Where is Angry? For those who don't know, there's a person named Angry Cyric. Like a dude in the chat named Angry Cyric. I don't know why he's named Angry Cyric, but there is Angry Cyric. He's here. I don't see it. Oh, Lila is here as well. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Lila is here, says Lila. Okay. Okay, let's complete this. Let's go for the raid then. Welcome to those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. Angry Psych has your profile picture as well. Yes. But I just don't know. Where is he? I don't see him in the chat. Okay, let's get these weapons there. Uh, Glocks. And now with the Emperor's new flip-flops uh, on the background, we're gonna go and raid the base. We need some... Some hatchets. Three, four, five. Too many Cyrix, yes indeed. We'll pop some carrots. So ladies and gentlemen, have you buckled up? Let's go then. Except I didn't get any armor. You might have buckled up, but I haven't buckled up yet myself. I'll get rid of all of these things here in the base. They're annoying. I can't walk anywhere. Okay, let's delete the empty canisters. 
I'm buckled all the way up. Alrighty. Turn this track up. It's as loud as it goes. Paradise. Okay. Hopefully... We'll get Paradise loot there as well. Elder E Raid. Paradise. <gasps> it might actually be Paradise, ladies and gentlemen. It might actually be Paradise. Um. Paradise. Let's go. Finally, nice raid. Okay, I just need to know which chest to open up. To be sure. Okay, we go here. We pop this open. We get this. Okay, what else can we do then? Whatever, I see how we can raid this base. It's enough research. Happy Cyric, angry Cyric, and then future Cyric. I can do this a whole day, says Alfredo. Okay, welcome to the stream, Alfredo. Also, there's past Cyric, there's current Cyric. And let's not forget about the good old happy Cyric. Full of Winchester guns. I mean, if the, this raid had a bunch of Winchesters, I'd take them to the base. Why not? I don't think I've even ever seen Winchesters during raids. Let's deal with the first wave of those schmucks. We've just placed a C4. And I already summoned them. We've gotten a box. You can guys guess what we can get inside of that box. The winners will get absolutely nothing. You might think that, oh, Sarek, you're lying. You'll give me a Lamborghini. You'll get nothing. I can promise you that. I give you Sarek's promise. You'll win nothing if you guess what's inside of that box. So, hey, guess. Try to guess it. It's a game that I call Guess Something and Win Nothing. Where else can I get first aid kits? Is that it? Do I get more first aid kits in another chest? Um, I've done some research, but I don't know if that's enough research. Okay, some of you started guessing things. We've gotten a saw blade maze. Okay, we have uh, only one person, Warty898. Congratulations for winning absolutely nothing. Congrats, Warty. You guessed that we've gotten that saw blade maze. That is epic. That is epic. Okay, let's go to the top then. What other chests can give me first aid kits? Okay, I just need to find SWAT paints. Maybe I'll bring them back to the base then. Oh, more first aid kits. Bloody lovely. Oh, wait, that's it. We are already almost full on our loot. Bro is hungry for first aid kits. Of course, who wouldn't be? So it's been quite a while since we've gotten like a 9 out of 10 raid. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is probably a 9 out of 10 raid. Because this is a great raid. Okay, maybe we'll get nothing in those chests. First aid paradise. Yes, indeed. The hospital raid.
bone spikes. I mean, I can't even fill up my inventory fully, so I don't know if it's worth it to die on spikes. As I don't know what else I'll bring back to the base. Whoops. Okay, what other chests can I open up? Uh, goop. A whole lot of goop. Oh my goodness, the camera again got stuck! Why does it do this? Oh lord! At least we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. So the camera just loses connection. The stupid Elgato Camling just like occasionally loses the connection for like a second. And I don't know why it does that. But hey, it is what it is. Okay, how about I soften up some of these chests? Am I gonna... Um, risk it for the biscuit? Depends. Probably. Let's go for it. I'll eat some turkeys to restore some of my health. Okay, carrots. I'll get them. Why not? If I die here, maybe I shouldn't risk it. I said, guys, maybe I'm not risking it. I'll skedaddle. I don't want to risk it. I wanted to risk it, but we've gotten enough first aid kits. I'm not going to risk it. Fill the bike. The bike is already full, actually. We've already filled up the bikes. The bike. So yeah, that raid def definitely gets my approval. Like, we've gotten full inventory of loot plus carrots. So it's a 9 out of 10 raid. I'd say so myself. It's uh, an epic raid. The camera is not responding. The camera is working now, ladies and gentlemen. It is working. Stop it. But it did start working for a second. Risk it for the first aid kits. I don't think there were any first aid kits left there. Maybe there were yellow tickets. I didn't see them. However, I've died plenty of times from the big one. I didn't want to risk it again. Okay, we're gonna probably feed those doggos as well with the turkey. Um, boom. Oh, the dog breeder. I even finished the dog breeder event. I didn't even know that I was doing it. But apparently we did it! Wow! How lovely. Uh, don't be greedy. You did the right thing, probably, says Biraja. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that I didn't stay there. What if I lost? What if I died? I would have lost a bunch of first aid kids. And I don't want to lose my first aid kids. Can you please open the red crate? We've just opened up the red crate today. We have done that already. Uh, this goes there. More first aid kits. And guns. And there we go. Just like that, we have sorted out our base. Pretty epic. You got the floppy? Uh, yes, we went. We've gotten the floppy. We've gotten three guns. I've gotten a... S scar. I did get a scar from them. Okay, let's try to pay these raiders with a spear. Grind motel, says DA. Stop it! No motel. How dare you mention the motel in the chat. After your birth certificate. Stop it. Please open it. I've already opened the red crate today. I can't open it again. What do you mean? Please open it, sir. I've already opened it. I can't open it up again. It's already empty. I've already opened it. I cannot open another red crate. And same thing with the floppy crate. I've already opened up one floppy crate. I cannot open up another one. And you know what else I can't do, guys? Continue, because it's time for us to wrap up the live stream. So, thank you everybody for joining here. 
See you tomorrow with another live stream or another video. It'll be either Sunken Land. If you haven't started watching Sunken Land yet, make sure to check it out. Just go on the channel, check out the Sunken Land. That's an epic uh, new game, epic new series on the channel. And tomorrow, maybe there will be a Last Generate Survival live stream, maybe Sunken Land, or maybe I'll try to live stream some Humanity Z. We'll see. It'll be what it'll be. But for now, see you later, guys. Take care and peace out. See you later, everybody. Take care. Shout out to all of you. And take care, everybody. Take care.